and good day. Today we're having a quick look at this little setup here. Well, mainly this. This is my mobile phone. And what I'm looking at in that is the magnetic sensor. It's obviously used for compass functionality, such as you know, in your phone navigation, etc. It's got a magneto resistant element, and uh, what that does, it uh, senses a magnetic vector. In easier layman terms, magnetic compass. Now, this compass chip, or sensing chip, or whatever you want to call it, can be orientated anywhere inside your mobile phone. And I've been wondering, I've been seeing a few people complaining that they've got flyaways. I've seen some people complaining that the compass is giving incorrect um, locations of where the Mavic Mini has landed. And I'm thinking that maybe the phone is the culprit, not the controller. So we'll do a very simple test here, which is a piece of paper, a pair of scissors, duct tape, and a bit of steel of some type. I've just got a, a knife over here. And we'll have a bit of a look. Now I'm just going to move a few things around and uh, we'll get uh, into the experiment in a moment. Now what I've done, I've taped the uh, mobile phone down onto the table and uh, it'll become clear in a few minutes as to why. Now I've just got my pocket uh, knife here and as you can see if we bring it around the actual phone itself we're getting deviations. And yet down this end here nothing so the chip is orientated up here somewhere at the top end now that relates to when we put down this which is our controller now I'm touching the table and as we move forward we've got uh, about a four degree movement coming the other way the deviation again touching the table pushing forward we're getting a much bigger deviation so that tells me that the chip itself is on this half of my mobile phone and to keep it more accurate obviously if I orientate my phone on that side I'm going to have less deviation so it's quite interesting um, we will have a bit more of a play with it and uh, I'll use a bit of paper in a second and hopefully we can get a bit of a result out of this now I've orientated the edge of the paper to the mobile phone which is showing 150 degrees there southeast. So we'll take the phone, we'll pop it in our little controller. Now I set the mobile phone in the controller and you can see now that 150 southeast is considerably different to the original orientation of the compass. I'll put a little bit of a black edge against here and that's roughly in line with the mobile phone the edge of it so I'll give you an idea when I move the phone as to how far we're deviating off so what I'll do is I'll draw a line so that shows you the deviation there I'll do a uh, line off the uh, paper later on now I'll set the phone 180 degrees around and that's the orientation for 150 southeast and what I'll do again I'll simply line up something that to I can draw a line on something about that there move that back and this gives you a bit of an idea of the variance in the two orientations of the mobile phone I'll run a parallel line down the bottom so you've got a better idea so there's the two variations quite a big variation here this is with my phone set in the correct orientation uh, according to the small cable that comes with the Mavic Mini for the controller the second one is turning my mobile phone 180 degrees around so there's uh, less deflection there so that's quite interesting having the phone in the correct orientation and spacing it a little bit further away from the controller makes very little difference so for me my phone has to be 180 degrees spun around with a bit of a gap which is sufficient uh, to plug the cable in on the other side is enough that I've only got a couple of degrees variation from true magnetic north Hopefully that will make, uh, if ever I get that situation of losing my quad, at least I've got the correct area to uh, start walking in and looking for it, rather than having, well you can see that's, that is a huge deviation. Um, 
of the correct compass setting. And there we are, the proof that I'm looking for. Having the mobile phone set that a little bit further away from the controller, turning it upside down, it gives me the correct orientation. That's showing 150 degrees southeast, which is what I set this line to originally. And as you can see here, it's pretty well parallel. So that means that the compass is 100% accurate. And that means that when I'm flying, I have full faith in my controller. Okay, for those of you who don't know how to do a compass calibration on your Android phone, you open up the maps, it'll then give you um, a map showing you where you are, come down to the bottom, click that little button, pops up, click the other one up here, it'll come down showing you compass calibration, and you tap that and then you just basically you move your mobile phone in the direction that it shows you there. When it's done, um, it'll disappear completely. I've already done it, as you can see I've got high accuracy, so that's just a quick guide showing you how to get that set up. <laughs> 